Hi students, welcome to Ohm Institute and uh, yes, signal and system uh, is a crucial subject in GATE as you know, it uh, roughly carries an average weightage of 9 to 10 marks for EC as well as for EE. Okay, so total number of marks usually we know, but uh, you know, several students keep asking about more important areas, okay, from the signal and system and the list of important topics or areas can be prepared if you have, you know, if you have some topic wise weightage analysis. So, basic analysis has been uh, done and that's what I wanted to present in front of you, okay, in this brief video. So, see, uh, the first thing that I am presenting is the uh, weightage analysis of EC, how many marks have been asked starting from 2010. Uh, you know, because 2010 is the year when, uh, you know, this pattern of 65 question was introduced and it is uh, till that the same pattern of 65 questions, 2010 to 2025, more or less, you know, uh, many times you get 10 marks, 12 marks, sometimes 6, 7 marks as well, average will account to somewhere around 9 marks, but uh, you know, what is more important is how much you expect if you are an easy aspirant, around 9 marks or 8 to 10 marks if I take a range, if you are going into the exam hall, be prepared, signals 8 to 10 marks uh, will be there in your paper and that is a good weightage. Similarly, I will tell for double E as well, okay, but you know, uh, you know, what are the more important areas, what they are asking more frequently, especially in the recent years, if you look into that, that is more, this, this is what is more important trend I wanted to show you, okay. So, we are doing the analysis of 2021 to 2025, that is past 5 years, okay. I think uh, the recent years speak more about the trends of the examination, okay. So, classification of signal and system, uh, you know, uh, I have uh, clubbed the topics like, uh, you know, periodic signals, energy signals, power signals and classification of systems like linear system, time invariant systems, uh, causal system, stable system, invertible system, all those basics, uh, you know, I have clubbed here. Okay, and uh, you know for EC, there is uh, one only two questions, one of one mark, one of two mark, but it does not mean that this is not important, especially uh, the foundation topics like, you know, when you study standard signals, important standard signals like step, ramp and impulse, at least the understanding of them is very important, okay. What is this weightage analysis doing is, uh, you know, telling you is that for these areas where questions are less, you still study, very important because the, the basics are important to understand the subject. But, you know, you should not practice a lot also, enough, if you practice some decent questions, that will be enough, okay. So, you know, this is what the total 3 marks uh, overall, LTA systems, okay, especially, uh, you know, convolution and its uh, properties, okay, uh, 3 questions of 1 mark, 3 questions of 2 marks, so 9 marks, so this has, uh, you know, decent number of questions, okay, CTFS and CTFT, okay. Uh, three questions and four questions from the continuous time Fourier series and Fourier transform part combined. Okay, three questions and four questions, three of one mark, four of two marks, 11. So, this again has a better weightage. Sampling uh, alone, sampling I have separated from Fourier transform. Uh, it is like a continuation uh, that you study after Fourier transform only. One question and two questions of two marks, total five marks it is. Okay, Laplace transforms, okay, direct, see. There may be some differential equations which you can put in Laplace or match, but directly Laplace signals type of question, something related to ROC or Laplace applied to LTI systems, that has been nothing, zero for EC. That transform two question of one mark, one question of two marks, so that is four marks. Okay, and then this portion, DTFS, DTFT and DFT, again DFT for EC being actually important one only, two questions of one mark and five questions of two mark, total 12. So, for EC, if I have to summarize important areas where you have to practice more, see, this is nothing to do with what to study, what not to study. Study everything, okay, but where to practice more. There are some areas which you can just, uh, you know, revise the notes and solve some recent year PYQs enough, but some areas like LTI system convolution, CTFT and CTFS, okay, DTFT, DTFS and DFT, at least these three areas, I will say, practice more and more. More and more means, you know, at least 20 years PYQs, if possible handouts or, you know, books question, whatever is there with you, some books or some handouts, okay, that is what is, you know, required to be done for important area. Now, let us go to, you know, electrical engineering, okay, electrical engineering, again, if you see the year wise total signal and system weightage is again decent, most of the time, you know, see last three years consecutively 11, 11, 11 marks, 8 marks, sometimes it could be low. Okay, but usually 8, 7 marks, average this also will be around 9 marks. So, again a double E aspirant also expects 8 to 9 marks or keep a bracket 8 to 10 marks. See, it is even more consecutively uh, in the consecutive 3 years, even more than 10, but okay, keep a, you know, at least this, this much of expectation. So, for double E also, this subject is actually important for weightage point of view, but what areas are more important in double E? Let us have a look into it. The recent 5 years trend, what do they say? They say that 
For double E, the fundamental part is also important. They are asking questions directly on energy, power, periodicity of the signal or classification of the system as causal, time invariant, linear. Okay, four questions of one mark, four questions of two marks. Okay, so eight questions in five years. Okay. Eight question in five years for a particular topic is a good only. Okay, so and and these are the areas where you can usually score. So that's one good part. Okay, and then LTI system also eight questions, five one mark, three two mark. Eight questions again in five years is a good amount only. Okay, so eleven marks from here. CTFS and CTFT almost everything is CTF. For double E CTFS very less questions. Oh no, this eleven marks almost CTFT only three question one mark four question two marks. Okay, the CTFT more important for double E. You can exclusively note that. Okay, rather than CTFS. So CT see CTFS is important again. You know it's a very important thing to study before you go to subject like power electronics. I'm telling you, study everything. Somehow it is connected to everything. Okay, but where to practice more? This analysis is indicating to you. Okay, sampling only one question that two of uh, two marks and that was not a typical question. In EC you can expect good question from sampling. Double E some normal regular. Uh, questions can be expected not very difficult one laplace two questions one of each one mark and two mark total three marks okay uh, z transform one question of uh, one mark one question of two marks uh, less weightage only three marks dtfs dtft and dftc uh, you don't expect dft questions in electrical okay so majorly it is dtfs and dtft okay four questions two of one mark two of two mark six marks okay DTFS and DTFT. DTFT, they ask some foundation foundation questions. They ask, don't discard DTFT. But DTFT, I'll tell you how. This last thing for electrical DTFS, DTFT, and DFT. Just if you study from your notes, also enough. Okay, but you study because questions are coming. But you should not exclusively practice a lot. For electrical students, what are the more practice areas? Is uh, the basic classification of signal and system part, the convolution part, discrete time and continuous time both. CTFT, CTFS, you go through notes, important but enough. Okay, CTFT you practice more. Sampling, you know, go, from notes is enough. Laplace transform from notes is enough. Now Z transform. Recently less weightage, but you know, if I go back, there has been history of good questions of Z transform in electrical. Okay, the Z transform again you practice more. So, what are the more practice areas for electrical? Again, I'll repeat: classification part, convolution part, CTFT part, and Z transform part. These are the more practice areas. Okay, rest you study. Don't leave anything. Okay, but you can study from notes and some recent two four years PYQ is also enough. If you have done more, very good. But I'm telling you the minimum thing to be done. Maximum there is no upper limit, you know. Okay, but yeah, I'm guiding you at least this much you should do. So from the rest of the topics, notes and some uh, recent two, four, three, four years PYQ is also enough. But from the important areas I told you, practice more at least 15, 20 years PYQs of ECWE both common subject. Uh, take the benefit of both the branches. Okay, if time permits, solve instrumentation questions as well. Okay, so this is what is the weightage analysis. Overall, how many marks coming from signals that mostly you know, but pre previous five years, topic by topic weightage I wanted to present so that you have a more directional revision in terms of the subject of signal and system. Okay, that directional revision is very important for every subject, especially because end moment revision you have less time and more subjects to cover. Okay, it's not that you have a unlimited time. Okay, so if you are more directed, if you know where to practice more, where to revise more, okay, your time management becomes better. Okay, so that was the intention of making this video. Thank you. Keep preparing hard.